Okay. <clears throat> hey guys, this ever happen to you? Get up in the morning and you know, kind of come down and refire the furnace. Hold on a second. Wait, no. No, <laughs> God. There. Okay, gotta come down and refire the furnace. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to refire the furnace, man. First of all, you gotta get some paper. I take an old newspaper like this, though, and just kind of crumple it all up like that. Make sure you got nice little crumples on it, you know. So let's get it out of here first. I'll show you how easy it is to light this thing, man. Okay, there. Oh, I gotta have some wood. So I'll go get some wood. I'll be right back. Hold on. This stuff always works pretty good. Back, back! So I always try to use this stuff, man. This always works pretty good for firewood, so here's this pallet stuff. Cut up these pallets, get in nice pieces like that, kind of break it up a little. Cut a few sticks like that, you know, and pretty good old furnace. It's got a 21 inch outlet. Got two furnace fan, two blower fans. Got a six inch outlet that goes into a number seven inch pipe inside the furnace, inside the chimney. Now you got to take and chop this up a little bit, you know. Be careful, though, you don't cut your finger or hit something. You know, it's a good if you got a little aggression to take out, too. You can really take it out, you know. Oh, yeah. You know, kind of, uh, that's about ready. So here we go. Take up this wood here. I got cut up a little bit. Throw that in there. So I don't know if this is going to work or not. This is what I take. Don't have much of a torch, but it's just to light the paper. Now we're going to see if it takes off. I'm going to pull this vent open, though. Ooh, watch out. I don't want to burn anything either, you know. Now we're going to see if that takes off inside there. Might want to blow on it a little bit, too. It looks like it might take off, but it might need a couple more pieces, so just cut them up into little chunks like that. That should work. Throw them in. Yeah. And I like these pallets because they're free. We get them up in town or wherever, wherever we can get them. They usually give them away, you know. Saw them up a little bit and make a nice little chunk like that. Downsize is they got some nails in it. You always got to pull the nails out of your... Uh-oh. Is it going to go or ain't it, man? Might have to reposition the wood a little bit. Don't do this unless you've done this before. Like, I'm a professional fire person, man. I can make fires, you know. I'm like a professional. I've been doing it all my life. Use a nice little hatchet. Keep that handy. A little propane tank here for lighting or a cigarette lighter. You know, you can do that too. But look out. You know, it's pretty much going now. It's pretty slick, huh? There were no chemicals in that, putting oil on it or gas or just that paper. And I had a, a magazine in it from before. I think I had a used some paper I threw in there just to burn it. But I want a little fire today. And look at some of these pallets are actually oak and shit too, you know. And that's good burning wood, so. But now when I have regular wood, now it's going pretty good as you can see. And then I'd throw in the regular wood, you know. But today I'm still burning pallets because like it's 25 above outside. You don't need a lot of heat here in Wisconsin, you know. There, and it's going. Ta-da. And then I just run over here, plug it in, and turn it on. I got to fire up the blowers. <clears throat> there. Ta-da. I gotta show you this baby anyway. Here, I'll show you that. This is my heater, this is my wood heater. Here's my heaving ducts. That's all, that's 12, 12 inch, uh, 26 gauge uh, galvanized chimney and everything. It's a pretty nice little heater, but that's how you do it. Thank you.